one of the moves from days past that is, for whatever reason, only done by a select few nowadays. It's called a pullover. Uh, it is possible to do it with a, with a kettlebell. You'll most likely probably see it done with a dumbbell, periodically with a barbell. But in essence, this is a movement that's going to help you to connect the pushing and the pulling muscles, and it's also going to work wonders for your straight arm scapular strength. I'm going to show you two versions. One of them is a bent arm version, which is a good one, but not the ideal one for this situation. The other one is going to be the straight arm one. That's what I'm going to start with now. First things first, you're going to, you're going to pick the kettlebell up in kind of a weird way, or you're going to hold it in a weird way. So whereas uh, most of the kettlebell stuff we do is here, periodic, where we're holding it here, maybe there. In this case, you're going to be holding the handle with the thumbs. And you can get a good grip on it like this, but you're going to be holding it in a, in a strange way, okay? Reason why is because this is going to uh, allow you to rest the kettlebell on the, on the forearms a little bit. It's also going to reduce the likelihood that it drops under your face. You are responsible if that happens because I'm giving you the, the warning, don't let it happen. I've never seen it happen, but you got to use some common sense, okay? To get it into position, you're going to hold it here, kind of like it is a, uh, like a, you're getting ready for a goblet squat, okay? In fact, you can even hold it like the goblet squat in the entire time, and you should be good to go. Now, what you're going to want to do, get it into position here, okay? Again, either with the hands here or there, but make sure your grip is tight. You want to open up your chest wide. You want to keep a tight stomach, so you're not trying to arch your back. You're going to push your back through the floor. Open up your chest. Lower the kettlebell. And bring it back up keeping your elbows straight the entire time. Your stomach muscles should be tight, lower back pressed through the floor, like so, okay? Set it down. Don't recommend that you do this. To set it down, you wanna bring it off to the side. Now, there is a bent arm version that you can do once again, and what I recommend, there are a couple ways to do it, but get it into position like so, Keep the elbows bent, and you simply come back and forth like so. If you are on an elevation, meaning your upper back is on an elevation so you can get back a little bit further, that's great. You may not have an elevation, uh, in which case that will do the trick. Again, ideally, uh, try to do it with the arms straight. If that doesn't work because your thoracic spinal mobility or shoulder mobility is not up to par yet, bent arm version is also a very good one. Uh, you're going to feel this a lot in the chest, you'll feel it in the back, uh, you'll feel it in the triceps, you're going to feel it everywhere. So uh, give these a shot, play around with them a little bit before you stick them into a workout. I think you'll find that these are going to become a new favorite move. Have fun.